Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Jesslyn Revel. I am a wife, a mommy, and a ninth year junior high teacher in Southeast Louisiana. Welcome, it's Friday, July 23rd, and I'm officially down to my last two weeks of school. Actually, I start back at work two weeks from today. Makes me sad. So today, what are we doing? We're gonna do a little classroom prep. I have been gone since, well, I've been gone this whole week. We had UCA cheer camp, and so that literally takes up everything. And I'm at my least favorite place in the whole entire world, Target. Yes, I need to see if they have bookshelves. I need some double-sided tape. I need a mirror. I need some stuff, and I don't wanna do this because you already know like, guys, if you, <laughs> if you can feel my heart beating right now, I don't like shopping at Target or any like bigger stores like this. It just makes me anxious. But I've got to put on my brave pants, my big boy pants, my big boy, big girl, big person pants and get it done because if not, it's never gonna get done. Afterwards, I'm going to maybe drive up to work and start prep work. I need to print a bunch of stuff redo some stuff I don't know I'm sweating right now because I'm just anxious so let's go to Target let's go okay so I'm in my classroom now no one's at work which it's super understandable for it being a Friday like who wants to go to work if they don't have to be at work on Friday but I have to take every chance I get when my child's in daycare. So what I'm gonna do, let's talk about Target first off. So I stay to the front, cause like at my Target, you know, office supplies, furniture, like that's in the front, right? As you walk into the store. So like there's a dollar spot or whatever they call it now. And then it's like college section, office section. So I went. Y'all, they don't have the bookshelves. Like, I really wanted to get the library started today. Like, that was on my to-do list, but it's okay. But I did get my, what did I get? Oh, I got the mirror for my um, door. I had some double-sided tape, and I ended up getting this is on my Amazon wish list, but then I just saw it in the store for cheaper. It was on sale, so I bought it. The Astro Bright Pastel cardstock. So I'm going to redo the Behavior Bingo board with some softer colors because loud neon green just doesn't speak to my soul. So I'm gonna do that. I bought my printer from home so I could print my Heroes of STEM stuff. It's a lot of color pictures, so that's, I'll have to figure that out. I did have somebody, y'all, I'm like behind on answering comments and stuff. I'm so sorry, like cheer camp really took it out of me. Someone asked about like, where did you get your Heroes of STEM stuff? Can you link it? I'll link it in the description box below. I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers from another creator. I don't even remember the creator's name, but I'll make sure to credit them down below. Um, and I love it. So I think with me teaching a STEM course this year, as well as my seventh grade science courses, it would just add a little mm, to the room, you know? Um, also, while we're doing this, another package I received in the mail while I was gone from Cheer Camp, Destiny West, a, a viewer, purchased a pencil sharpener for my classroom. So thank you, Destiny. I had the old, blue, you know, the blue one, the big blue one? Like years ago and a few years back, one of my students just like broke it, like dropped it, broke it, and I haven't had a pencil sharpener since. I just remember like that really upset the students that day. And I just, I thought it was hilariously funny because I didn't think kids cared that much about a pencil sharpener, but they did. Um, so I do appreciate it, Destiny. My students this year are going to be so excited and so blessed that they actually have something that they can use to sharpen their pencils and not have to go bother another classroom to use theirs. I appreciate it and I'm sure my team appreciates that, so thank you. Um, 
But it felt really nice to walk into my classroom today and it's clean. I just have to go through and prep stuff. So here's what we're gonna prep today. Number one, I wanna redo the behavior bingo board. Number two, heroes of STEM. Number three, I may redo my signs for the board. So like, let me show you. So like right here where it says, I can agenda standards and opening routine and the actual opening routine itself. I think I'm gonna reprint it. Because back in the day, I didn't know like, because I didn't know that you could use like PowerPoint to make things look good. And you know, I was just, use what you got boo, use what you got. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take this home today. I wanna spray paint this like gold or white. I think gold, I think I wanna spray paint this gold. This has been in my room for like, a hot minute. I think I did get this at the Target Dallas spot years ago, like years ago. Also, like our Target dollar spot at my house has a plethora of school supplies that just shows you that us teachers are not ready to go back in my area. Did I buy things? No. They had tons of caddies, book bins, office supplies, desk organizers, um, border, all kind of stuff, and I just skirt went to do what I needed to do because y'all already know how Target make me feel some type of way. So let's get this started. Oh, and I also need to put the mirror up on the door. That might be the first thing I do if I have the necessary tools to do that. Oh, it says no tools required. So I'm gonna do that and get this day started. I want a productive day before I go pick up Love Man from daycare because I miss him already and I hate that he has to go, but mama's gotta come finish up in here. So let's get it started. Okay, I did it. It actually makes my door look better because you don't see the terrible seam in the middle. Okay, so I'm not putting, I know I, I sound like a bad teacher right now. I'm not putting like words for words of affirmation around it because like, I just, I don't wanna do all that. Especially because I have to move next year anyway. We're moving to our new school. Um, also, like, can we talk about how baggy my clothes are? Things don't fit like they used to once you have a kid, y'all. Like, I've always been a big girl, but, like, the weight's, like, distributed differently now. But that, checking that off of my list. I also forgot I got to make labels for my teacher toolbox. So let's go. All of the printing's done. Now I have to laminate it all, and it's like 9,000 pages, and I don't want to do it. So I need to get it done because, and I gotta cut stuff out. It's 11:25, so. I think once I do that and I hang stuff up and I put put things where they belong, like that's it for today. It's not a lot. It's just prep though. Prep work is not the fun part, but prep work makes things necessary. So let's get it started. Well, I finally did this. Finally. Y'all, I am hoping I remember where all my stuff's at now because you can't really forget. Mom brain is real. And I really like it. So, one thing down, more to go.
if your bingo board is updated with more toned back colors so it's not as loud. board for the most part is completed i was going to just use vinyl but since we're moving to our new school next year i didn't want to have to peel that off so i just printed it there we go one more thing down two more to go so i'm back and i totally forgot to film all of that it is like a good bit later and i'm officially finished with what i'm working on today in my room I'll show you guys what I did. I'm really not sweating, I'm just, I'm just shiny today, I guess. Um, I'll show you guys what I did, okay. Like an overview, I put my mirror up, redid the bingo board, put my procedures and stuff up on the board, labeled the back wall where my anchor chart and vocabulary words are going to go, Still didn't touch the mess of the library and worked on my Heroes of STEM poster thingy wall and my teacher toolbox way up there. That was all completed today. So not too shabby for an impromptu day in the classroom. Um, I am going to go. I have some things I need to come bail out that I was supposed to do last week that I didn't do because of cheer camp and preparations for that. So I need to go do that. And I really only have the library and the student center to set up in my room. And then it is time to prep. My goal next week is to get some lesson plans worked on and all that good stuff. So T minus. 13 days until I go back to work. Ugh. So, thank you guys for watching. I missed you all so much. Remember, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do it. Let's be friends. I'm funny. I'm good people. But anyway, I need to also go get my baby man and do normal afternoon things for me so it's almost three o'clock i was wasn't here well a lot i was here for a while like nine to three six hours that's not too bad i did a lot today like the prep work is the worst part but it, like my classroom looks like a classroom like if school started tomorrow we'd be jumping back into it um but stay tuned for all the things that are coming um, I, we just found out like Louisiana, y'all, Louisiana can't get it together. COVID numbers are like on the rise again, like, badly. I'm vaxxed, like I have a vaccine for it, but I still wear my mask everywhere I go because like, I don't want to pick up something and then give it to my child. But, um, I know our parish government, like the parish I live in, the district I live in, most of you say county, but the parish I live in, their government just shut down for two weeks to like lessen the effects of COVID, the Delta variant. And so we're kind of waiting to see what that means for schools. So stay tuned. I don't think we're like doing virtual by all means. I don't think it's like a, hey everyone, it's a shutdown again, but I just want to know, like, do I need to separate my desk again? Do I need to, like, do I need to move things around? Like, that's what I'm worried about. So, stay safe out there, y'all. The streets are mean. The infectious streets are mean. But I will see you guys when I see you. Until then, bye.